You're acting like you're concerned about Douglas, even though there's no reason to be, when really you're just concerned about Hope and think that I might still be obsessed with her. Okay, all right, you, you tell me that. Should I be concerned? I can't, no, you know what, scratch that. M more to the point, should you be concerned? Should Douglas be concerned? Should your family be concerned? Because the truth is, you're the only one that truly knows if your obsession with Hope is starting back up again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. So today we have a couple of showdowns. We have Liam versus Thomas, Brooke versus Taylor, and Sheila steals a moment with baby Hayes. Let's get into it. Me. Do you know what that tells me? It tells me you're enjoying the fantasy of you, Hope, and Douglas as a nuclear family. And if your obsession is starting back up again, you and I know what happens. We know where this goes. You will lose control. And I'm so, the only difference is this time, I'm, I'm not just going to wait around for it to happen, okay? My job is to protect Hope and Beth and Douglas, even if that means from you, at all costs. So Liam decides to show up at the Forrester Mansion to pick up Douglas. He told Thomas, he texted him earlier. Thomas was swimming, so he didn't get the text. So he says, hey, Douglas has been here for days. Hope is worried about it. I'm coming to pick him up. I'm really shocked that they're writing Liam so bold and assertive all of a sudden. So Thomas tells him this is Douglas's home. He's a forester. This is the forester house. He is home. Liam says, you know what I mean? He's He's been with me, Hope and Beth. It's time for him to come back to our house. They go back and forth. And then we get to this scene where Liam calls Thomas out on becoming obsessed with Hope again. Now, that is where their scenes end for today, but Douglas is looking like, I can't believe you're saying this, but we all saw the scenes from last week where he's looking at the family photo of him, Douglas, and Hope, and he's starting to daydream. So he is headed down that path spiraling again, but we will see what happens. You know what? I'm wondering what happened with that spoiler about Thomas um, dating the older woman. That seems to just have disappeared, unless... I don't know if they would go there, but unless somehow Sheila in her disguise starts to date, that's far out there. I don't think they would do that, but that would be an interesting twist if Sheila in her disguise fooled Thomas and he fell for her. How's your fate being kept apart from you? It is the most painful thing in the world. <laughs> So once again, Sheila puts on her disguise and heads over to Steffi and Finn's house. Finn gets a call, goes in the room to get his laptop, leaving the baby in the playpen in the living room. As soon as he walks out of the room, Sheila sneaks in. I was like, wow. So she's being really bold right now and not even caring about getting caught. So she picks up Hayes and tells him how hurtful it is that she's not able to be with him and how grandma would love to be able to hold you like this more. While she's holding him, she looks towards the patio door. Then she hears Finn ending his call, and he comes back in the room, and she leaves. Oh, but you have a pet dream. Oh, it's okay, right? Daddy's here. Your dad would make everything okay. I'd never let anyone or anything harm you. Okay? All right, here, let me get Mr. Giraffe for you. Um, I'm going to need daddy to start locking that patio door because it was way too easy for Sheila to just walks in there and could have taken Hayes if she wanted to. And I definitely think that it's coming to that. So Sheila's back at Deacon's place daydreaming about holding Hayes and being with him. And dare I say, she was a little bit sympathetic in this scene. But I love the comments let me know your thoughts. Did you feel a little bit of empathy for Sheila in this scene, seeing how hurt she was? about the fact that she's not able to be with her grandson, just a little. But Deacon comes back and checks on her. He sees that she's down and he tries to talk her off the ledge because she's talking about being with Finn and Hayes. He's telling her, you cannot do that. It's too dangerous. You're going to put everything on the line for that. And then he kisses her. I'm like, is Deacon really falling for Sheila here? Because I feel like he's developing real feelings for her. 
He leaves and she continues holding the pillow like she's holding Hayes. And she says, I will find a way to be a part of their life. So she's vowing to find a way. So we know that's in the works. She's going to come up with some trick to be able to be a part of their lives. Sure, at this moment, why, why Thomas actually signed those papers? They weren't together at the time. Thomas was obsessed with my daughter. No, I know, I remember. Do you also remember the harm that he caused? He was in a very bad place mentally. So naturally, the fact that he signed those adoption papers, it's always concerned me. So we also had round 5,637 of Taylor versus Brooke. Now, they both made some points in this argument. They were talking about the whole where Douglas is going to stay thing. Now, this clip that I showed, Taylor did make a good point. I saw somebody point this out in my comments the other day, and I was like, you know what? You're right. If Thomas was not of sound mind, is him? are the legal documents actually legal when he signed the adoption papers. So that's something interesting. And the way, way Taylor was looking, it does sound like if they take it to court, they're going to explore that avenue. But Brooke also made a point. Earlier in the conversation, Taylor was saying that Hope is basically hogging Douglas, not giving Thomas a chance to really spend time with him. And up until this point, they really haven't shown us Thomas wanting more time then he's already getting with Douglas. Every time that he wanted to spend time with him, she let him. He wasn't making the initiative to spend greater time with him. So this is all new. So I don't agree that Hope was kind of taking him away from Thomas. I know some people will feel different about that, but I didn't see it. There are examples. Please let me know. Those were your major scenes for today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.